Christ is. The gentleman will follow. To call a pyre salvation from sin. Captain! Report! The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. They truly are Russian. What of Novigrad's your post. hierarchy? Yes, sir. What of him? Will he get his well-earned rest or be sent straight to Dan Rua? His own journey will be ill-advised and costly. Hmm. His we Imperial Majesty awaits. Is it in what can go out? Enough. Did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. We'll manage. True. The barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True. No denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind, too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nelf Guardians. You take care now. Good luck. Quick now with that wheel! Or will you stay to welcome Radovid's men? Faster.
Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Hort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm-hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Footprints. A dwarf's. All right, out. How was your trip? Smooth sailing. You still on about that leaky tub from the Isle of Mist? <laughs> You're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us. You'd not have fit anyhow. Go so late in that boat. We barely made land. And it reeked of fish manure. You stole my boat. Borrowed. We knew it was yours. Still is. You don't think we'd do that to a mate like you. Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the gods' names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors now. Investors. They've come for us. Hide! Eh? <sighs> What's going on? You've not seen us? Where are the dwarves? Dwarves? Do not play games with me, Witcher. They are thieves. They stole Lord Dagborg's golden chalice. Dagborg? Who's that? The new governor of these lands. The chalice must be found. Tell us what you know, or you will force us to extract it. No dwarves here. Will you insist this is your camp? Five cups, five shadows, all yours. Been tracking these dwarves for a while. About two days ahead of me now. Abandoned this camp in a hurry. Something must have scared them. Why do you follow them? They stole from me. Clever little bastards to steal from a witcher. We must go. Should you catch them? Well, never mind. We march tomorrow. Oh, thank you for that, Witcher. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. 
Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments in movable assets. Well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Uh, we don't have it. Found a buyer. Mr. Mirrorly, was it? Uh, funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you. We would, but... But you look like one who just frown in any proceeds from theft. Aye, you got that righteous frown on you, definitely. I don't want your coin. <laughs> look at him, all offended. You think we showed him a picture of a naked lass? Witcher's got their creed. No stealing, no pinching wenches at the tavern, and no assaulting travellers. We make exceptions, for travellers especially. Uh, oh, uh, farewell, Witcher. We march in two hours. Any man not standing ready in full outfit will be considered a deserter. You have grown lazy! Go, Shields. go! Be sure to take all your rubbish with you. Leave nothing behind on one life within rag. You will talk. I will come back for you, I promise. Yes, if only you'd done half what you promised. I'll come back and take you to Nilfgaard. You were to stay here! Bow before your new lord. And protector. The noble lord Dagborg assumes these lands to rule with grace and justice. Debts, burdens and encumbrances owed to any other Black are hereby thought waived. thought stay here forever. <laughs> it means you must pay taxes to the noble lord Dagborg now. This lord Dagborg, who is he? Some relation of the noble we had before. How am I to know? Work for us, the black ones would have sat here stolid till you. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Ymir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novograd and all the Danes. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. 
The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dull. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. <laughs>